I had assumed that as long as the market was held within the walls of the Priory, and the taxes supported the construction of our cathedral, Kingsbridge would need no market license. I had made a foolish mistake. Now I had no option but to call on King Stephen for help. And as Aliena suggested, I joined the knights on their way north to Lincoln. More and more men joined our group. Most of them had no horses and no weapons to speak of. As King Stephen prepared for his final battle against Robert of Gloucester, he had ordered all able men of his earldoms to fight in the north. Then, at nightfall, our group reached a large camp of Stephen's men. Many men asked me to pray with them. They were husbands, fathers, and children about to fight in a war that most of them did not understand. It was then that I witnessed Aliena's brother Richard shouting at a man. The man was in tears, saying he did not want to fight and begging to be allowed to go home. I told Richard to have pity. Full of anger, he told me that he would hang deserters himself if need be. Then the man interrupted us by shouting infamities about Robert of Gloucester and started to laugh. Richard and his knights joined in and began to cheer for the king. Richard seemed to me just as desperate as the young man, but he did not know it. His temper would not make him a just earl, I thought. But again, I hoped to see a cruel man win his battles, only to defeat a man more cruel than him, William Hamley. After a long first day on my way to Lincoln, I found a place to rest. I fell asleep soon and dreamed about soldiers. But these soldiers were not on their way to Lincoln. They had come up the twisting hillside path to our little hamlet in North Wales. My brother Francis and I had tried to outrun them and to warn my parents. But as always when I had this dream, we were too late. King Henry's men had killed Mam and Da. Abbot Peter came to take us in, just as it had happened so long ago. But this time, in my dream, something was different. I was six years old then, and Abbot Peter had not yet taught us about God. But still, I asked the monk the question, why did God do that? I had said that. It had been my voice answering the child. It was me. I was responsible for the fate of these children, Richard and Aliena. As I tried to calm them, I realized the blood of their father was still on my hands. I awoke with a start. It was as if my dream had not been a warning, but a reminder. I had sinned and I had to atone for my sins. I prayed that I would be able to help those that had already suffered by my hand, and all of Kingsbridge.
After what felt like an eternity, the sun rose and we continued on our way to Lincoln. As we moved, I remembered hearing that Bishop Waleran had been to Rome and William had fought in the Holy Land. I told myself that King Stephen would eventually see these men for what they really were. He had to. And I tried to convince myself that God would make things right. Is it done? Yes, my bishop. Their builder is dead. What about the saint? I couldn't get into their crypt unseen. You disappoint me again, Timothy. Please, when did I ever fail you before today, right reverend? Regan Hamley is alive. She didn't. No. Your poison has left her in a deep sleep. When the time is right, I will send our Earl of Shiring to finish what I asked of you. Kingsbridge will fall. Hurry up, my friend. Or do you not want to see our king after all? I fear I must. Then let's not waste more time. Come on, Philip. Where do we find King Stephen? Who's asking? Richard of Kingsbridge. <laughs> I've heard of you. Good things, I hope. Maybe. You can go inside the cathedral. Where are all the knights and soldiers? <laughs> I should go first. But this is a house of God. Only two more days. If they know what's good for them, they'll surrender. I'd be disappointed if Maud would give up so easily. My king! You have my sword! Good! Who is that? Richard of Kingsbridge. Him. Now, what about those archers out there? Ah, uh, Sir Richard, you made it. Had a monk to look after. You should visit our enemies, Father. They should be praying, for we'll cut their heads off. Yeah. Hear, hear! Father, I'm afraid. Come now, what are you afraid of? I... I... I own a mill. I, I built it myself. The only thing I was ever good at. I will die if I have to fight. Do you have a family? A, a wife. I can't go out there. I can't. I 
hide in the church, but let no one see you. No. No, I won't. Oh, thank you, Father. There's no two ways about it. I have to go out there myself to see what's going on. My king, Ranulf's archers are only waiting for you. They know they'll be at my mercy once I've dealt with Robert the Bastard and ran off the traitor. I doubt they dare shoot me. Stephen, be reasonable. Henry, will the church for once shut up? We are at war. Cut. Wonderful. Now, I will go out there without getting shot in the head. I must know why they posted the archers up there today. Just for once, use your brain. Think. Yes, my king. My king? You? What are you doing here? Have you come to atone for having your monks write that heretical book? Uh, no, my bishop. I... So you continue to doubt your bishops, your pope. Henry. How dare you show your face here? Henry! I told you I am not to be disturbed. This monk should be thrown into a cell. Maybe then he will see reason. What? Because he doubts your miracles? I have to admit, having someone walk over red-hot plowshares or putting his hand in boiling water to prove he's innocent is entertaining. I give you that. Stephen. But the monk is right, of course. There is a tendency that your miracles conveniently happen when the church needs them most. Whoever believes that to be a coincidence or miraculous deserves no place at my table. Uh. What is your name, monk? Uh, Philip of Gwyneth. I will make sure my brother won't arrest you. If anyone will have you arrested, it's me. My king, I have come to see you. I have no time for you. Unless you know a solution to my problem. There are archers outside, probably looking forward to killing me. But I have to see what's going on out there with my own eyes, without getting shot. If you have no solution for my problem, better not waste my time, or I will have you arrested. The men on top of the wall all carry bow and arrow. They are watching the cathedral closely, as if they were waiting for something. But for what? Maybe it will help the king if I tell him what I saw. My king, I would like to tell you what I saw outside. Maybe then you will not have to put your own life at risk. Tell us what you saw, monk. What did you see? Archers. They were waiting for something. For our king, of course. No. No, no. There's more to it. What else did you observe? Nothing more, my king. Well, that's not enough. I have to see them with my own eyes. A shield could surely stop an arrow. My king, you could use a shield to protect yourself. 
A well-directed arrow can pierce a shield. A helmet, even. Then why do all these men wear helmets? <laughs> For luck. <laughs> <laughs> Our king's advisors believe it would be dangerous for him to stand out here in front of the archers. They're right. They are? Don't worry. They won't waste their arrows on monks and peasants. But the king would definitely be attempting targets. Would end the war in the blink of an eye. I wouldn't hesitate to shoot the bastard of Gloucester either. If you were to dress like a poor man, not like a king or a soldier, the archers might not shoot at you. This is highly inappropriate, Philip of Gwyneth. It is. But he's right. Robert's a bastard, but his men are not without honor. Who are you again, monk? Why have you come? Uh, I'm the prior of Kingsbridge, my king. Ah, of course. The Prior of Kingsbridge. I have come to ask for your help. What could be important enough to disturb the King at a time like this? Robert of Gloucester will attack in two days' time. Let us find out why he's here, shall we? Get undressed, Prior of Kingsbridge. My king. Don't be shy. It was your idea after all. Ranulph's men have been nervous all day. Now why is that? It's such a simple war. And yet they could stay holed up in my castle for another month with all these men. So why have the archers out at all? They'll be safer inside. They don't have to stand up there. My king, I have done all you asked of me. Now please, listen to me. Of course, monk. Uh, let me guess. You're here to ask me for help with your illegal market. What? The income was only used to support the cathedral. I did not know we needed a license. The market was held on the church's ground. The church is not above the law. This is not the Holy Roman Empire. No, of course not. Your market is illegal. I supported William in his decision to punish you, for it didn't merely pay for your cathedral. It also paid for the children of that traitor, Bartholomew. But Aliena and Richard are no traitors. You said so yourself. You said they shall go free. I remember my words, monk. But the Earl of Shiring tells me that a knight in my employ seeks to convince me to change my loyalties. I wouldn't know much about that. William Hamley and Bishop Whaleran said you were sly. Now I think I know why. My king, you must not trust them. Hear me now. You will not receive a market license, and the children of Bartholomew will hang if they go against the Isle of Shiring. Do you understand? I understand. <sighs> of course, that's why all those archers are up there. Robert of Gloucester is not attacking in two days. He's attacking today. To arms! It's an ambush. Do not use the front entrance. <laughs> They knew that would draw us out. Get my clothes. I need my horse. As Stephen and his men went to face the approaching army, his brother, Bishop Henry, urged me up to the top of the cathedral. His fear had made him forget about our dispute. I 
had never been that high up. Pray with me, Philip. Pray that Stephen will win, so this war can end. I closed my eyes to pray. I forgot about Kingsbridge and the market and what I wanted. I simply prayed for peace. And as I did, I realized that ever since the dream about my parents, I had not prayed. What if, as in the dream, my prayers would not be heard now? I begged the Lord to make me see. To make me see that he was there. Philip, look! I was too far away to understand what was happening. Robert's men! They're winning! Stephen is lost! It felt like the world was spinning under my feet. I was afraid that I would fall. I closed my eyes. And then, I saw. They're breaking through the church doors! And then I knew it was us. Only us. No devil to harm us. No god to protect us. Only us. Philip was gone for two weeks. We had no idea what had happened to him. To be true, we had other things on our mind, Ali and I. Are you sure we're alone? Right now. There's only you and me. Look at that. Told you. I hope Philip and Richard are all right. Me too. Say, Jack. Have you read our book? What about you? What did you think? <laughs> well, I thought it was really amusing. <laughs> no, this is Philip's fault. If all this falls apart because he set up an illegal market, he alone will be responsible. I have faith in him, and so should you. Who else could save Kingsbridge, if not him? <laughs> do you still remember the text? Well... Do you? Well... Oh. 
Before me he stood, his clothing set aside. No flaw to be found in all his body. Was that poem not about a woman? Oh! <laughs> it seems I mixed that up. With what? Mm, I'm not sure. No? <laughs> Oh, her shoulders and her arms. I saw and I caressed. And then her breasts, warms made to be felt and, and touched. I remember that part. Oh, you do? Yes. How flat his belly beneath his slender waist. His legs, what form, what a perfect ass. <laughs> you made that up. So what? Don't you like my version? Oh, I like it. Why recall each aspect? Nothing that I saw lacked perfection. As I hugged my naked body close to hers. <sighs> Jack. Yes? I love you. I love you too. I always will. something no it's only us Jack you and me it is us only us hey Philip the prior Monk! That's better. Never let them see you weak. Stand tall. This book feels different now. How many died? What? How many people died in the battle? Too many. I even lost my horse. But Robert is not an animal. I'll give him that. Or we wouldn't be here. It's getting dark. It's not the end of days. Are you sure of that? I'm not finished here yet. So yes, I'm sure. Richard! Don't draw attention to yourself. Not when they have you in a cage. Not if you're the king. Why am I in here? You are with us, are you not? I prayed for peace. Peace is the wait between one battle and the next. You were right about William Hamley. How so? The moment the battle took a turn for the worse, he and his men switched sides. The Earl of Shiring is fighting for Maud now, and for Robert. William Hamley is only fighting for himself and for Bishop Waleran. 
is over there. Thank you. Francis! Oh, Philip. Of course. You came with your master, Earl Roberts, did you not? Yes. When I heard from Bishop Henry that you were in Lincoln, I started looking. He thought you were dead. Not yet. It is good to see you, brother. Henry said you came because you need a market license. Yes. I think I know someone who can help. I'll have you released, and then we will go to Winchester. Just be patient for a moment. What about you? My loyals will make their moves. The game is not yet over. If you want peace, if you want to save the lives of the innocent, you have to give up. Never. That's the only thing I'm not good at. Then there really is no hope. So this is your brother? I have heard much about you, Prior. Your brother has supported our family for many years now. And we remember those who are loyal to us. Hereby, I grant Kingsbridge the same market rights as Shiring. The same rights? The same. Thank you, my queen. Thank you. The bloodline is restored. Not long, and my son will take his rightful place here on the throne. All will be as it was. I will be a just king, as Grandfather Henry was. Peace will be restored in England. Do you have anything else you wish to tell us, Prior? No. Nothing. Thank you, my queen.